Hello, welcome back to the Sewing Circle. Thank you for joining me today. How are your Christmas plans coming? How is the list going? How are you doing if you had sewing projects? Have you finished them up? I, for one, have not. We have experienced some things in our family recently that we've been dealing with. And so all of my sewing got on hold and I am now trying to get back to it and get caught up. And I'm also pivoting away from plans that I did have that there absolutely is no more time for. Um, today I want to talk to you about how to shop for the seamstress in your life. And uh, I wanted to hear from you. How is your Christmas going so far? Your week before Christmas. Do you have last minute shopping to do? I sure do. <laughs> One of the things that my husband's been asking me is, Leslie, what do you want for Christmas? And, you know, it's so hard to answer that at this point in my life because I have so much and I'm so blessed. Um, as you well know, I've bought plenty of fabric in these past few months and I have plenty of patterns to play with and pretty well have all of my supplies. Um, I still have not had the time to get my new sewing machine up and running, but um, I will let you know when I do. So one of the things I love to get for um, Christmas is books and magazines. And you know, they sell so many nice books for the seamstress on all kinds of subjects, whether it be, you know, making your own stuffed animals to quilts. Um, I'm gonna show you one of the things that I love to get. And I guess it's because it has a magazine and patterns inside. This is um, the Simply Sewing Fresh Ideas with Fabric 4-in-1 Mega Pack. Now, because we live in the United States, we do not always get four in this pack. This pack comes from the UK uh, and can be purchased at Barnes & Noble. Now, this is not this month's pack. I have not gotten in there yet to pick up this month's pack. But inside, I will show you. Oh, dear. I'm ripping it. Inside... There's your magazine that has um, all kinds of good ideas. Um, it shows you how to put together some really cool weekend makes on this one. But also what comes with this pack is the pattern. And inside that magazine are like instructions and uh, a go along with each of these patterns that, that comes in the packet here. This one is really fun. I love it. There's lots to see inside of here. So if it's something you're looking for, something, a stocking stuffer, uh, a gift for the seamstress that seems to have everything, check out Barnes & Noble and see what this month looks like. Now, new seamstresses, old seamstresses, we love our little notions. And these little clippers are one of my favorite things to use when I'm putting together uh, any kind of fabrics, whether it's a craft, it's quilting, whether it's sewing a seam. These things are so handy to use in the sewing room. I have mine in this little green keeper, but they came in a bag from Amazon, which I'll link below. Clippers is another item. Now, are you a person that quilts is your person a quilter do they love to put together all pieces all manners of pieces of course everyone knows that we love our rulers when we quilt but also these things are fantastic for actually just cutting fabric straight for putting together outfits and uh, clothing items i love my ruler when it wouldn't live without it and along with it is my rotary cutter now I don't know if you've seen Joanne's been having sales on scissors, rotary cutters, their blades, the rulers. These things are things that you want to have in your sewing room when putting together quilts and things. And you know, if you're looking to buy something for someone in your life, this is a great thing to get. They come in sets even with a cutting mat because when you're using your ruler and your rotary cutter, you want to use it on a cutting mat. Now I have a bunch of stocking stuffers and this was actually gifted to me. This is the Solutions by Artbin and inside of it 
there is a magnet. You can see that I have some pins stuck in there to show you, but um, this is fairly new. I haven't got to use it a lot, but I love it. This is a great little item to put your pens in to take it with you someplace. I've already used it, taken it in my sewing case with me when I wanted to carry a project around and wanted to have pens and other notions available. This is an awesome little stocking stuffer. Uh, this I think this can be purchased on Amazon. I will link it below. Also, it's these little little fingernail files. What seamstress doesn't love just a little notion that um, actually isn't a notion, but uh, a little stocking stuffer that has their sewing theme on it. Another idea is all manner of fabric markers. Now I have everything here from a permanent marker to a ace pen fabric marker to a marker pencil. We need these in our lives. When we're sewing, we need to be able to mark things. We need a disappearing ink. We need things that are clearly gonna show up on a dark fabric like this white pencil. And we need sometimes something permanent like a permanent marker. So these are great little items to pop into a stocking. Needles. We all need needles, and this one comes with a little needle cape keeper, which is a magnet that sticks to your sewing machine. I love these. I'm obsessed with these. They're so cute, and what a great thing to pull out of your stocking, right? Now, here is also a pack of needles. This is like an old-fashioned um, needle keeper. It opens up and a bunch of needles inside that. These are the kind of things that are fun for seamstresses to open up out of their stockings or to attach even to a little package as just a little something extra attached on the outside. <clears throat> now, I don't know if you've ever seen these, but these, oh, I have these all mixed up. These are magnificent. <laughs> these are little pullers for making bias tape. And I use these all the time when I'm making my bias tape. You feed your, your fabric strip through there and it folds it and makes it so that you can press it and use bias tape that matches whatever you're making or the colors that you want um, your bias tape to be. And this one comes in a really cute little case with little sewing machines all over it. Another handy dandy, you don't want to live without it, is Fray Check. And you know I stand behind Fray Check. This is something that you could put into a stocking as well. Um, you just use it along the edges of fabric, um, something you don't want to fray out. And it will bind the fabric so it doesn't fray, but it will not make it shiny and it will not show up when it dries. I absolutely love tags. And these ones are so cute. Cute. I got these at Hobby Lobby. Um, one says with love in every thread and one says stitched with love. But you can also order tags online and even have personalized tags made um, by ordering on Etsy and other sites where they sell tags. Now, if your seamstress is new or if she's been around for a long time, she never wants to be without one of these. And you know how I stand behind my seam ripper. A seam ripper is a wonderful tool to have in the sewing room, to have in the sewing basket if you're taking your sewing anywhere because you can always take something apart and fix it if you've done it wrong or you don't like how it is. Or if you're upcycling, these are fantastic. Big ones, small ones, lighted ones. There's all kinds of seam rippers available to you. Now, those are my ideas for Christmas. My Christmas wish list is tulip pink fabric. And so I filled a cart with the tulip pink fabric that I wanted, sent it to my husband, and he ordered it for me for Christmas. So I do know what I'm getting, but I'm getting what I want. Um, if you're not familiar with tulip pink fabric, um, you can check it out here. I'll put a link down below. And um, oh, it's just gorgeous fabric. I'm looking forward to playing around with it. I want to make myself some um, little bags for in my sewing room, um, make some bags as some gifts. But speaking of bags, I have been working on the Alpine belt and I plan to work on a little more today. Um, this was the pattern that I had got. I got a lot of fabric to make little bags for different people on my list. Now I will not be getting bags made, but I'm hoping to get at least one bag made for one of the people on my list gifts. This is what I have so far. I have quilted, as you can see, 
this outside fabric. This will be the inside. I have um, the liner here and all of the little bits and pieces. This will be the contrasting outside piece. So um, when I get my zipper in, the black will be along the edge where the zipper goes. I don't know if you can see that, but you will see when I'm all done. If I get it done before this is posted, I'll pop a picture of it up. But um, I'm excited to make this bag. My question is, when I get it made, will I use uh, black straps or cream colored straps? If you have an opinion, put it in the comments. I'd love to know. Anyway, I think it's so cute. I'm kind of leaning towards the black, but I have the cream as well. And uh, I can't wait to get this one made up. It looks like a very basic bag. Um, I did find it really fun to do the quilting of the outside. And I did just do line quilting, not like this fancy squirrel. Um, the black material will go here. It'll go on the sides and along the zipper at the top there. Anyway, that's what's been going on in my sewing room this week. Um, things have been a little bit hectic with getting ready for Christmas, but I'm almost done and I'm excited to hear about all of your makes. Please tell me in the comment, what have you been making? What have you been up to? Please like and subscribe. Um, Merry Christmas and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.